Hey, everybody. How we doing? Hope everyone is having a good Thursday and ready to uh, dive into some personalization on custom photo uploads. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to join me. Uh, let me just make sure that we are live and everything's working. If you could uh, drop a message in the chat, let me know that you can see me, hear me, and all that good stuff. I'm going to jump over here and make sure that I'm live. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Good morning. Hello. Lots of Facebook users. Make sure to go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook. Let me drop that in the chat here as well. That will uh, give StreamYard permission to show me your name so that when you're asking questions and everything, I know who I'm talking to. So, uh, awesome, awesome. Looks like we're up and rolling. Thanks again for joining the plan today. As you guys probably all know, we're going to go over um, how to do personalization on custom photo uploads. Um, I'll try to kind of cover both sides on how it works with Etsy, how it works with Shopify, what it looks like, um, how to set it up, we're going to jump into um, Canva a little bit and just kind of go over how to um, how to set up the design, export it, how to create it in anywhere POD. We'll show you our new image cropper, show you what it looks like uh, from customer side and the whole nine yards. So um, that is kind of the plan today. Um, so uh, as we go, if there's any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, as I get a pause in things, I'll try to keep up with answering those questions um, that are related to the topics that we're talking about. So you can ask those kind of as we go. Um, and then uh, we should have some time at the end that if you have any other questions about anything to do with um, Anywhere POD or Etsy or Shopify or e-commerce in general, anything at all, um, then uh, we should have some time at the end to be able to go through and uh, answer any of those questions as well. So uh yeah that's kind of the game plan for today i will go ahead and share my screen here and we will get started let's see here okay and i will say too as we're going through if there are i know i, I didn't think about it till later but i dropped it in the uh, one of the comments on Facebook, if you guys have any designs that you're curious about that you don't mind us sharing with everybody and you kind of want to know how you would build it, um, if you could either send us uh, a link to the or, or attach like a Photoshop PSD file or uh, a Canva template that we can then pull it up in Canva and be able to make any changes to it that we need to, um, we can go through some designs live as well. If, uh, if there's anything um, that we're not covering or, or you're wondering about, um, that's if you want everybody to see it. If you don't want everybody to see it, you can do the same thing. Send it to support um, and we'll keep it private, but uh, we can record a little video for you then and show you how to build it. And that's that's true with anything. If you ever get into something in anywhere POD and you're like, ah, how does this work? Um, a lot of times we can log into your account and see what you're doing and give you advice that way. Um, or... If you need to send a, a Canva template, we're, we're happy to look at that as well. Uh, mom design. Yes, Jill, we will be covering. Um, I don't know if we'll cover full design, but we'll at least cover how you can get the images into the um, like mom shape um, pretty easily now with our new image cropper. So we'll definitely cover that. Um, OK, let me uh, stop talking now and let's get it. Well, not stop talking, but stop rambling and let's get into it here. All right, share screen. Let's see, we want to share. Okay, I'm on, uh, not that one, this one. Okay, cool, you guys should be seeing my screen now. Okay, so we got a few things. Um, 
like I said, we're going to go through and share and create today. Um, the first one is going to be uh, this uh, woven blanket design with Shine On. If any of you were on the Coffee with Shine On that we did last Friday, this is kind of the design that we were working on um, and that, that we built during that call. Um, so I wanted to run through a couple things with it here because it's a good example of how you can do some uh, file uploads. Um, but I won't go through and build the entire design from scratch. I'm just going to use this that um, we've had previously. So um, this is kind of what we were going off of. This was a design that uh, this here is the design that we were kind of uh, move this out of the way a little bit. Um, the design that we were kind of going off of and kind of recreating. And this is kind of what we ended up with when we were going through our demo. So kind of want to finish going through that um, and show you how the image cropper works and how um, I would set that up and uh, get that going. Uh, I'm not sure that I can make my mouse bigger, Phil, uh, but I will look into that for future. Um, and we'll try to uh, highlight better where I'm at and what I'm working on. So, OK, so this is kind of what we're going for. So here is this is just kind of a the, um, I guess, template that we were kind of working off of when we were doing the design um, on the call. So I'll kind of show you how I will set that up um, and then also some tips that um, we could have done that with our new image cropper that might have made that a little bit easier. So. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to download our basically artwork piece, which is going to be this piece here. Um, so I've already got it on a page by itself here in Canva. So I'm just going to download that here. OK, don't need that. And we're going to go to download. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. And I just want to download this first page for now. OK, so we're just going to let that download. Uh, then the other piece that we need, so each one of these spots is going to be a photo upload. Um, I might actually change this a little bit. So we've got two more photos down here. So we'll have, like, say, a total of, of six. Um, but I think after I show you how I'm going to build one or two of these, uh, you guys will have the idea. Um, so what I want to do is let's ungroup that. I don't need those grouped right now. Um, I need. I want my photos to be able to be uploaded as a custom shape. Um, so I want the, the corners to be rounded when my customer uploads their photo. So um, there's two different ways that I can do that. Uh, one that is uh, probably a little bit easier that I'll show you too, is if you upload a photo that already has the rounded corners with our new cropper, that's all you gotta do. You don't have to do any other work. The other thing you can do is if the uh, photo that you're using as a placeholder in anywhere POD is not in that shape yet, say it's already just a square shape, and you want to do the rounded corners, then you can uh, set it up to crop it to a custom shape right inside of anywhere POD. So that's one that we're going to do now. So what I just need is essentially this shape. Um, now, unfortunately, Canva doesn't make it super easy. I can come up here to position here in the top. And I can look at my layers here. Um, but Canva does not give me a real easy way to be able to just download these layers individually. If I select more than one layer, then I can download that by itself, which is what I want to do. So I just want this rounded uh, corner here with the squares. So to do that, I'm going to select this layer. And I'm going to duplicate that layer. You can see it put it there at the top. So then I'm just going to move it. So I've got. This here now is two layers, but they're in the same position. So they're stacked on top of each other. So it looks like it's just one. Um, and then what I'm going to do is select both of those layers. So you can see they're both selected now. And now if I right click on it, I can go to download selection. And now I can download just that one um, shape. And it doesn't have a whole bunch of white space around it on the outside, which makes it a lot easier to do the placement inside of anywhere POD. So I'm going to go ahead and download that guy, too. So we've got that. We've got our uh, love image here downloaded. Um, our font we can set up in anywhere POD. 
Um, and that's basically it. That's all we need to do design wise to get it. Um, how is customer uploading photo? So we will get to that. I'll show you how the photo upload works. Um, and I'll talk about kind of how it works on Etsy as well. Um, so if you have questions like this that might be specific for different platforms, sometimes it's good to know what platform you're working on so I can make sure that I'm addressing that specifically. So to be clear, what we're doing right now is just building our design and getting our design assets that we need to be able to build the product. And then here, we're gonna go into Anywhere POD, build the product, and then I'll show you the customer side of it as well. Okay, so we've got everything we need downloaded for that product now. So we're gonna jump over to Anywhere POD and we're just gonna go to the same product. We're gonna go over to our Shine On uh, blankets here. And we're gonna do our woven blanket. And let's see, let's go ahead. We'll upload our artwork here. Here we go, which is basically just that love um, that's going kind of part way down the uh, the blanket. So we're gonna get that uploaded. And now we're gonna do our custom image uploads. So I will do one or two of these uh, using this method, and then I'll jump over to Canva and show you another way to do it that might be a little bit easier if you're designing um, in Canva. So we're gonna go to add image. And what we wanna upload here is just a placeholder image that is essentially instead of our customer image. So it's just going to be a placeholder for now. Um, but it's what's going to be used in our mockups that the customer is going to see. So this is just a stock photo um, that I found, you know, online that I'm just using as an example. So we're going to kind of rough place that. And then we come down here to personalize. You can see we have two new options here that you may not have seen um, until uh, earlier this week. One is our image cropper. Um, so this will be when the customer uploads their image, it's going to um, allow them to crop their image to whatever shape and size is needed for your design. So in this case, my corners aren't rounded yet. So I wanna go ahead and round my corners too. So I'm gonna click on crop to custom shape. And this is gonna ask for another file upload. So the file that I want to upload here is going to be the red shape that I just exported from Canva. And I think I may have to go to Canva and export that again because, yeah. So see how this is square? When I exported that from Canva here, let me select these two and go download selection. I forgot to check the transparent background box. So let me re-download that real quick here. And we'll go back to, oh, I hit select on that. Let me go back to anywhere POD here. And let's just remove this. And let's go to add image. And we'll say personalize, crop to custom shape. And now here we want our one with the transparent background here. And so you'll see this is kind of a white image. So it might be hard to see on my screen share here, but you can see that we're able to actually adjust what portion of the image that we want cropped out. And then click on select. Ah, why did that give me the red one? That is certainly not correct. That should have given me the, um, give me one second here. This is what happens when I do things off. Let me see if this is gonna work with a different one that I have. Okay, let's try this. No, I swapped those. <laughs> this is what I get for making changes right before we have a live stream. So bear with me here for one second, everybody.
Okay, so uh, dang it, I can't believe I messed that up. Let me see here. I think I can fix it real quick. My apologies, guys. I am on a Mac, Phil, if that helps. Sorry, guys, bear with me here. I hate having to do this to you live, but this is what happens sometimes here. Come on. Okay, let's go here. Uh, okay. One second here, guys. My sincere apologies. I hate holding you all on the line here, but Ah, okay. <laughs> I believe I figured out why this was doing that. Okay, uh, I just may not be able to use my stock image. So I'm going to go back to image upload here. And let me make sure this works. And then I'll explain this all to you guys. Hey, there we go. That's what it should look like. Okay, so my issue was uh, in my stock photo that I was trying to use was the issue. So there was something with the photos that I just downloaded that was causing an issue. <laughs> so um, I got it figured out now. So you guys will just have to instead see instead of the stock photos I was going to use. Um, I've got a few other photos that... Uh, should work. Uh, yeah, they should work fine. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, what you what you do? Uh, let me jump back into it. So, what I did was image cropper, cropped a custom shape, and then I just uploaded my uh, red shape with the rounded corners that we just downloaded from, let me just walk through that again, that we just downloaded from Canva. So this first one that you want to upload is your um, placeholder image that you're going to utilize for the design, okay? So here's placeholder image, does not have the rounded shape. So to get that, we're going to go to personalize. We're going to go crop to custom shape. And then here we're going to upload our custom shape. So our custom shape is the red box that we downloaded from Canva. And when we open that, now you, when you're designing and your customers, when they're uploading on Shopify, will get the option here that they can move around and resize the area that they want um, to crop. So instead of just having, say, the center where I've got people's heads and stuff cut off, I can actually move this around and select the actual portion of the image that I want um, on the product. So you can do that when you're creating it, but more importantly, your customers will now get to do that when they're uploading on Shopify. 
So the nice thing here is if they have a, a image that's a com say completely different aspect ratio, it's really wide or vice versa. Now they can actually have control over what portion of that image is going to be included on your design. So there we go. We can just um, put that up there, move it around and um, it's all set. So there's our first one. So that's one way to do it where I'm adding the custom shape portion inside of Anywhere POD. The other thing that I can do is most of you probably know um, inside of Canva, there are these frames here. OK, and so these frames allow you to do that same cropping, but inside of Canva. So if I select, say, this frame here, uh, I want to just round one. Does that have rounded corners? Let's see what happens when, when I add in a photo to it. So if I do that and then I just grab a photo from my computer. Like so. I can drop that right into. Yeah, it does have rounded corners, just not very much. Um, I can drop that into uh, Canva here and it's going to give me the rounded corners and everything. And now if I download this image, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Um, if I come to position and go to layers here, what I can do is duplicate this and move that so they're both lined up again. And now I'm going to select both of these layers that I just created and right click download selection with transparent background so that my corners aren't white. And we'll download that. And now if we come into anywhere POD and we go to add image. We can upload that image we just downloaded from Canva. Um, you can see our rounded corners are going to be slightly different because this first one had more rounded corners. So, of course, you're going to want to do them all the same way. Um, but what I can do here now is when I check this to be personalized and I have my image cropper enabled, when the customer goes to do their upload, it's automatically going to use your image as the cropper instead of your own custom image that you uploaded. Does that kind of... Does that track? Does that make sense to everybody? Uh, let me check the comments here. Uh, yes, that is basically correct. I'll show you an example of this on um, uh, Shopify here in just a minute. Um, Jill said she just got it to work. Awesome. Design seems familiar. Yeah, I thought we'd kind of round out uh, some of our example from Coffee with Shine on last week. Uh, this is awesome. Very nice. So you don't see the red box. No, you will not see the red box. So if you use this custom shape, um, that's basically just saying, hey, use this image. So it just needs to be a PNG with a transparent background and whatever shape that you want. So um, it'll just use that. Uh, that image or that shape then to actually crop the uh, other images that shape. Uh, yeah, frames are great. So that's a, a good way. If you're already designing, you've already got your images in a frame because you're doing your design in Canva. What I just showed of, of downloading then just that image, that makes it really easy. You only have to deal with that one image and it makes it very, uh, very easy to do. Um, Uh, let's see, can I grab, uh, yeah, see, so that's going to be windows 10. I know there's a way to do it on, um, in Mac too. Let me see if I just search for cursor here, if it gives it to me real quick, uh, pointer control speed. Uh, no, uh, well, I'll try to get that for next time though. Um, two ways and I don't get the second one. So the second one um, that I just showed, we're basically doing the cropping already uh, here in Canva. So let me come up here to this page and let's go. We're going to go back over to elements so I can use any of these shapes now in 
my design. Um, you don't want to do things that have other stuff on it. Like this one wouldn't work very well because it's going to include um, that gold as like part of the shape. Um, but like, say, if we want to do one of these flowers here. So if I want this flower, I've got the design there. Now I just need to upload another image um, like this here. Ah, see, this is why some of these stock photos that I was using earlier weren't working. Not compatible. Yeah, so it says it's a JPEG, but it's not actually. That is why the uh, crop stuff wasn't working earlier. So let me grab another. Uh, that scared me there for a while. I was like, I was just playing with this earlier and everything was working. And then we go live and then nothing's working. Okay, so here's another image. We can just drop this image here into the shape of a flower. Now I want to download this image to use in my design with the already in the shape um, and as a custom upload. So what I'm going to do is duplicate. And there now I've got two of these. So I'm going to position these on top of each other. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to export just this flower shape from Canva. And Canva doesn't let me do that when I only have one layer selected. So I'm going to highlight both of these layers. Uh, there's two ways you can do that. One is you can go to position and I can click here, hold down command or shift and click on the other one. That's going to select them both. Or since I didn't have anything else here that was clickable, I can click and drag, move my mouse over. And now both of them are selected. And when I right click, I have download selection. We're going to go transparent background. And hit download. Now that's downloaded, so I can come back over here. Let's just remove this one that we were working on. I can go back to add image. And now I just need to upload that image that I just downloaded from Canva. And there it is, all set, ready to go. All I need to do is click on personalize. And now I'm going to get the cropper functionality inside of um, Shopify or on an order inside of Anywhere POD. Uh, yes, so if you're doing multiple images and or multiple different shapes, um, each one of those will be a separate layer. So you're going to want to add those as its own layer each time. OK, that's kind of caught up on the questions. I think I'll just leave both of these on here. Um, I think you guys get an idea of the rest of the design. I have a couple other examples I want to walk through. So I probably won't go through um, adding in the text and two more images. You're just going to see me do the same thing. So we're just going to go to create product here. And this will create um, our mockups and everything for us. So again, doing it this way, our mockups are going to have the, uh, the custom image and everything here already for us. So we'll let that generate. And OK, so there's our mock up. So now if we go push to Shopify, yes, I want to enable my live previews. And we take a look at this now in Shopify here. And we click on personalize. We're going to get our live preview. And if I upload another image here. Uh, Let's see. Demo. Here we go. So you can see I didn't specify. Uh, I specified image cropper, but I didn't have to upload a separate shape. It was just already automatically here for me. Um, so I have that on here. I can move it, change it, adjust it however I want to. Um, to get uh, whatever portion of the image that I want as the customer, hit select. It's going to crop that image for me, and it's going to place it automatically in the uh, same position, same size, everything that my other one was. So it makes it super, super simple for you and for the customer um, when they're uploading their images to just select it, um, be able to do the cropping, 
And let's go with this one here. So you can see this image is really, really tall. My initial one was more square. So I can kind of adjust this, put it where I want it, um, resize it how I want to. Um, this zoom should be letting me zoom further than that. That needs fixed. Um, but I can also use this to control the size of my box um, or of my shape that I'm cropping to. Um, and it should let me go out further than that. We'll have that um, updated here shortly. Uh, so we have that. We just hit select. And again, it's going to crop it and put it in the correct spot for us. Uh, yes, Bart. So text personalization, absolutely. So if we added, so that up here. Yep. So here, I think we had in our original design, we had some names here at the bottom. Um, so yeah, this original one was kind of like a, not so much a mom design, but more for um, uh, like an engagement couple or something like that. So uh, if we added a text field here, if we add a text field here for... Um, Josh and Sarah, whatever name. And we'll mark that as personalized and hit update product. And we'll give that a second and we can take a look at that uh, just so you can see what that live preview looks like there on, uh, on Shopify as well. And again, this so you'll have access to the same functionality if you're doing uh, manual order and we go add to cart here, or if you're selling on Etsy um, and the uh, the customer sends you their photo to be added to the product. Um, when you when the product goes on hold for you to upload it, you're going to get this basically same view as um, we have here in uh, Shopify for the a custom shape for the cropper and everything. So you'll still be able to do that same type of cropping. Um, so there you can see Bart, how that, um, that text personalization then ties into it as well. Um, okay. Is that making sense to everybody? Um, let me know, give me a, a thumbs up if that is cool. And I'll move on to another example that we have here. Um, yeah, so is it fully automatic? Uh, yes. Yeah, so if you are selling on Shopify, it is automatic. So everything the customer puts in when that comes in, um, we can grab all that information and automate it. You can leave your order set to not auto fulfill. If you want to double check what the customer did, um, if they're doing a file upload and they mess something up or you want to double check spelling, anything like that, um, you can still still you know have those on manual approval to be able to take a look at them um, to make sure that everything is is good before you move uh, move it off to production. Um, okay, so let's look at another example here. What else do I have here? Uh, yeah, so here's one that uh, we've had several questions on. We'll walk through that design. Um, or at least something similar to this. I don't have this exact design loaded up, um, but uh, we can build something very similar. So what we need, um, actually, let me show you how you could do, let me show you how you could do this design without really needing to use Canva very much at all and do it all in, um, well, but I like the way Canva handles the, uh, the crop. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this in, uh, let's, let's just build this whole thing in anywhere POD. So we could build this design in Canva. We can add the text. We can add the images like I just showed you. Um, and then you could download the M, the O, and the M and, uh, and be able to um, use those images. Or since you can add static text in anywhere POD, instead of having to upload and download, really all you need 
is the MOM here. And um, I just realized that I think I was using a, an O for this instead of a heart, but you can do either way. Um, so, I mean, really, it's the same process as what I just showed you. So you're going to take, uh, in this case, we want some of these letters down here. So you're basically going to do the same thing. So what I would do, let me add a new page down here at the bottom, because it doesn't really matter so much what size this Canva is. Um, but we just need an M and an O. And we want to be able to uh, just download both of these. Uh, let me do one at a time here, actually. So I'm basically going to do the same thing that I just did. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to right click. Hang on, I need to highlight them both here. And download selection. And here we have them uh, set transparent. So we can just hit download. I think I already did. I don't want to download that again if I've already got it loaded here. Um, no, maybe not. OK, so we'll download that. And then if we want to use the uh, O, we could do that. If we wanted to use a heart, we could certainly do that as well. Um, so let me just remove these two. We'll do our O. Again, we're just going to duplicate and line it up and highlight them both and download those. And now if we go into Anywhere POD and we're going to go to Shine On here, we're going to go to our acrylics over here on the left. And here is our square acrylic plaque. We're just going to go to start designing. And we're just going to close this out. Uh, because So what we're wanting to do is make a design similar to this. So we're just going to have Dear Mom here at the top. So I'm going to add a text field. And we'll put Dear Mom here. And we'll bring it to the top and make it a little bit bigger here. And let's see what kind of fonts we got here. Let's go with that. So there's our dear mom. Uh, you are the pieces that make the difference. So we'll go add text again. And maybe we'll do a grand standard font on that one. Maybe something a little thicker here. Let's try. There we go. OK, and so we got that. And now we just want the MOM down here at the bottom. So to do that, we're going to go to add image. And we want this to be another uh, like placeholder style image. So we'll just add one here and as i said we so we want this in the shape of the m so when we click on personalize we're going to say crop to custom shape and go to our downloads and where's my m there we go there's my M, so we can select uh, what part of the image we want to be there. And we'll hit select. That's going to go ahead and do the cropping for us. Now, again, we could have loaded in our placeholder image inside of Canva first and then downloaded it already in the shape, or we can add it here. So it's kind of a either way you want to do it. And so we'll do another one now for the O. And let me find another image here. I had all these images in one folder, so I wouldn't need to hunt around. And then all the images I had don't work. OK, so I'll put those down here. And we'll go to Personalize, Crop to Shape. And this time, we're just going to select our O. And open that. Again, select what portion we want to show for our, again, this is just for our preview. So the customer will be able to select their own um, when they get into it and are actually uploading their image. OK, 
Okay, and now we need one more for our last M. Kind of move that general where we want it, and then uh, we'll get everything sized up here in just a second. Crop to shape. And and there we go. So there's those three. So let's um resize these a little bit here, get them all to fit like so. There we go. And there's the, uh, the MOM. Now we could do, could have done any, um, any stock photos that we wanted inside of here. Um, you probably want something that makes sense, goes along with your design. Like we probably wouldn't have a dad and daughter and a dear mom design, or maybe you wouldn't, maybe it's ones of a family. Um, but those are all in there now. Everything's marked as personalized. Um, we can name, name these correctly. So when they go over to Shopify, uh, next to the photo upload, instead of just saying upload image, we can say like upload, uh, like say M image, for example, um, so that it's labeled a little bit better. But that's how you would create the uh, the mom design. Um, well, I think I uh, was answering that as you're typing. What do you put in the option title? So that option title also really only plays into it and shows up if you are on Shopify. If you're on Etsy, it doesn't really factor into it as much. Um, because your customer is not seeing that live preview. So they're not really seeing the option title anywhere. That's more for, for Shopify users. Uh, yeah, those guidelines and the snap two on that, I think, uh, really helped a lot. Um, okay. So there's one other thing that I wanted to show real quick. I don't have it pulled up here. Let me grab the design. Um, so you can still, some of you may have seen, uh, in the past, um, some of the photo up upload stuff we did, um, like even for some of the photo, um, collage style blankets, um, that process still works where you have like a background image that has a square cutout in it. And then you put the other image behind it. You can still do that, or you can use this image cropper, or you can use a combination of both. So I'm going to show you one now that's kind of a combination of both. Um, so you have an idea of what I'm talking about here. So this is going to be another acrylic from Shine On. And again, I'm, I'm, I think everybody knows um, any of the stuff that we're showing works for any of the products. So I may be showing it on, you know, a blanket or um, an acrylic plaque or something like that. But you can do this on uh, on any of them. So. Uh, this in particular one's going to be for the heart here. So this one, we do have some artwork that we're going to upload. So here is um, the uh, design. So we got a spot down here at the bottom for some personalized text um, as the sender. And then we've got a spot here for an image as well. So this image that we put in here, we want to be um, a custom shape because it's going to be in a circle. Um, and we also are going to put that custom shape behind this design. So this area right here um, on the design is transparent. And we want to put our custom image behind it so that our design only shows through the center here and doesn't overlap. You can see we've got some of our, um, what are those? Um, I don't know if those are lights or little something, whatever, little, little berries on a wreath. Um, we want those still kind of overlapping onto the design. Okay. So we've got that here. What we're going to do is go to add image. And again, we've got just a placeholder image here. 
and we're going to slide this down here. And now what we want to do is put this image behind our artwork. So you can see that's behind our artwork now. But if you look, you can see like that's still not quite right because part of our image is showing through, especially if we had this expanded, like it's showing through back behind that. We don't want that. So what we want to do with this is come in here, mark it as personalized, and we're going to click crop to custom shape. And let me just show you the shape that we are going to be adding to it here. So this is the shape that kind of matches um, our uh, kind of inner circle area of the wreath. Um, so we're going to go ahead and upload that. Uh, where'd my tab go? Here we go. So we're going to say crop to custom shape. We're going to select that shape. And we want to kind of expand on this a little bit here. So we're getting about like that right there and hit select. And there we go. So now we see we've got the right shape. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. So I have this back on top um, just so I could kind of get the sizing close. And now if I move that order back behind, you can see it's going to drop behind. I'm shaped in the right way and everything's kind of lining up and looking the way that it should. So um, that's kind of utilizing both methods. So you still have that layering effect that you can do to be able to achieve designs um, like this, especially if part of your design is going to be over the top. Um, but overall, uh, using that uh, that shape cropper then uh, kind of in combination with it. Uh, OK, let's see here. Got a few questions possibly here to catch up on. Uh, these mock-ups customers see their version. So when you say their version, I think you mean the like personalized version. Um, so they will see uh, the live preview here uh, as they're building it. And then when they hit add to cart, they will see their personalized version in the cart. Um, you just have to turn on the, uh, the app embeds on the uh, theme when you install that. Uh, let's see. Blankets are usually big. If they upload small image, it will be pixelated. Uh, so possibly, I mean, they would have to upload a pretty. So blankets are big. Blankets also only print at 150 DPI instead of 300. So it's not as big of an issue. If they are taking um, a picture or uploading a picture with like any current modern camera, the uh, resolution is going to be plenty, plenty big for a blanket. Um, resolution on blankets isn't terribly high. They are large, um, but the resolution is smaller. So that's generally uh, most of the time not an issue. Uh, can they upload JPEG, PNG? Yep. So any of that uh, they can upload. Uh, most of them you'll find will be uploading straight from their phone. Um, there's not really any size limit per se, um, but I mean, you, you get up to you know, like 100 megabyte or something crazy. And um, uh, it, it actually still would probably handle that fine, actually, now that I think about it. So um, not really any limits there. Uh, would it be possible to add the recommended shine on templates on anywhere POD's design page and future updates? Um, so are you talking like the, uh, the overlay that shows like where things are placed here? Let me show you. Are you talking about this here? Um, and by the way, guys, I think that is um, probably all of the uh, demos that I had one other ready, but it's um, we probably won't get to that one. So um, if you guys have any questions about this or about anything else, feel free to start dropping them in the chat and uh, we'll spend the next little while kind of going through any questions that you guys have. It can be about what we talked about today with the cropper. It can be about something else. Whatever the case may be, feel free to drop it in the chat. We'll uh, we'll help out if we can. Um, yeah, so template overlay. So we have that on some products. Let me know if this is what you're referring to. I know we have it on the tote bag here. If I go to start designing, you can see here we kind of have an overlay of the design template. So you can see where your artwork's going on the front and where it's going on the back. Um, so we have that for 
we can add that to any of the products. We're still working through and going through on adding it on um, some of them that need it. Some of them don't really need it. So it doesn't, doesn't matter a whole lot whether or not they're there. Um, but we are working through on adding those. If there's anything specific that you're working on that you're like, ah, oh, man, I really wish I had the template here, drop a note to support and uh, we can make sure to get that added in for you. Same thing goes with the uh, live previews. If you're working on a product that doesn't have a live preview. Uh, so let me see here. I'm pretty sure this one does not. So if you go to enable live previews um, and it has this green button here that says request template to be added. Um, if you want a live template for that in Shopify, click that button. Um, and then you can send us an email, let us know what product it is that you're looking for, or you can just contact support and let us know what product. And um, we'll get what we call a system template that you can use um, to be able to do that. All right, let's see what else we got here. Brilliant, beautiful, awesome, awesome. Slightly unrelated question. Can we, what about backgrounds? So we don't have a white background. Do we just upload an image? And even if I have to stretch it beyond the boundaries, it'll still be okay. I'm struggling with images not fitting the template and the mockups look weird. Yeah, so if you're wanting to do like a colored background, um, we are going to add the functionality where you can set colors yourself. Um, but if you want some other type of um, distressed look on a blanket, maybe or something, I think that's something that is kind of underserved, honestly, is like doing like watercolors on a blanket. So like if you go to. I think I've got one here. So say we go to uh, custom cat blankets here, we go start designing, I can upload as my background. Yeah, here we go. There we go, just kind of a, a blue distressed kind of watercolor type look. Um, so I can use that as a background, um, even when I go to create like my variant options. So um if i need to stretch this even though it kind of goes over the uh the edges that's fine it'll still work it'll still work fine so that is a way that you can add um background options to any of your products the other thing honestly that i think is uh is kind of underserved is if you are doing uh blankets like let me go to this blanket design that i just did um it may not make the most sense with woven blankets because the woven process is a little bit different. Um, but if I wanted to add the other blanket options onto this listing that Shine On has available, I can go to add variants here and let's go Shine On and let's go to our blanket category here. So if I wanted to give the user the option of either a woven blanket with this design, or maybe I wanted to do this minky touch fleece blanket here, instead of having to redesign everything, I can click add from library and just select this design that we've already done. And it's just going to go through and reload that design, but now onto a new product. So now if I click on update product, it's going to add uh, down here. If I go to product, you can see I've got my two Minky Touch options that they have available and my woven blanket. And then I can just set up um, my variant options here to include the product name that the customer can select from. That's a really fast way to be able to combine different products like that. That makes sense. So on blankets doing that, adding a matching design for like the weekender tote bag. Um, if it's something like uh, beach towels that they're going to be able to take to the beach here by by your bag that you're going to haul your towels around in or blankets or whatever the case may be. Um, thinks that there's some some cool stuff there doing. Um, I know we're probably still a little little early for it, but doing something uh, like with a weekend or tote bag with the blankets for some sort of like Fourth of July themed, you know, for for carrying your blankets out to go sit out in the lawn and watch uh, fireworks somewhere. Um, I think all those are um, things I haven't seen a lot of that I think would be a good way to increase average order value. Um, 
Uh, I'd like to see a demo on glass personalizations. Uh, can you let me know a little bit more on what you'd like to see there? I guess, are you talking about uh, like a T-launch glass that's laser engraved or what, what type of personalization are you looking at there? Um, let me know what you'd like to see. Happy to run through something quick. Um, it is going to be very similar to what I just showed. I mean, the process is exactly the same that I showed um, with any of the other products of just adding in the layers and marking them as personalized. Um, and it's, it's just that easy. Um, yep, perfect. Okay, so uh, yeah, just let me know um, or send in to support uh, what products you were kind of missing that for and we'll make sure that that, uh, that gets added. Um, question about the name blankets. How do you add the template for the customer to see the color option they picked on the live preview? Mine now is just showing the white blanket. You may have just answered this. Yeah, so I must have answered that. So the add variance feature that I just showed, um, that's also a way that you can add those different colors as variant options. So for example, if we're selling, say, custom cat again, and we go to their blankets, one of the things you'll notice when I was creating this blanket is they actually have some color options built in here. So if I select any of these, and um, we'll just put something here. Go to create product. I'm automatically going to get those color options um, here in my variant options. Um, so I've automatically got my uh, white, athletic gold, and black. They, their products only have one size. So this is the 50 by 60. So if I wanted to add um, the bigger, so the 60 by 80 or 30 by 40, um, I would need to use that add variance to add those. Um, but my colors would already be there. So in that case, I'm going to use add variance, add my sizes, update my, uh, my size options here. And uh, I've got my colors. If I'm selling, say, uh, let's go back to blankets. And let's look at Printify this time. So here, if we're looking at one of these blankets, like say we're going to do, say the Arctic Fleece here. And we're going to go District Photo. So if I'm doing this blanket, I don't have those color options. So if I want to do multiple different color options on this one, uh, right now, the best option is, like I said, just to upload that image like I showed you with the blue image. Upload that as the background, and then now that'll be your blue blanket, and then you can add the um, any other colors that you want onto it as well. So um, it could be an easy way to, uh, to kind of combine those. Um, we are, I, th I think I mentioned this, we are going to add uh, the option where you can set the background color here yourself. Um, so if you have a hex code or something that you want to add, you can set that background color while you're designing to make that um, that process easier on uh, designs where you want a background color to it. Uh, no, product pricing does not include shipping cost. If you look here, uh, we should have under shipping info, uh, you'll see for uh, the size or country that it's shipping to, what the, uh, the actual shipping cost is. When you create a product and you publish it over to uh, Etsy, we are going to automatically set up a shipping profile for you uh, that matches the vendor's shipping costs. So those will be set up for you. Uh, right now, when you publish to Shopify, we don't set up the, uh, the shipping. So you want to make sure that you adjust your shipping settings um, inside of Shopify based on how um, you want to offer um, shipping on the product, if you want to do free shipping or, or what your plan is there. Um, how to create a blanket with just the image customer uploaded. It'll be very similar to what we just did, except, um, instead of uploading a design, the only thing you're going to have is an image. So I can just go to add image here and grab one of my photos here. And you'll just size that or replace it wherever you want and mark it as personalized. And um, that's all you need to do, really. There's nothing else. 
Alrighty, guys, we are about an hour in. So let me know if there are any other questions for me. And we'll let everybody get back to creating and uh, getting geared up for Mother's Day. Um, yeah, if you have any questions throughout the week, as always, feel free to reach out to uh, support. We're always happy to uh, help out any way we can. Uh, so you can feel free to reach out there. Um, if you haven't done so yet and you're on Shopify, make sure to go to the uh, um, App Store and leave us a review, if you would. That really helps us out a lot, and we really appreciate it. Um, yeah, replay will be available here in the group um, and on YouTube. So the replay, will, when we're done here, will be automatically available in both places. Uh, Alrighty, guys, I'm not seeing any other questions, so I'll let everybody get back to work. Thanks for uh, taking an hour, hour out of your day to join us here, and uh, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.